If you have been around the valley, you've probably seen some little free libraries. There are the little libraries, they pop up and you can check out a book at no cost to you. But just last month, neighbors were upset because one of their libraries went up in flames. They are convinced that this was a case of arson. But they are getting a little help recovering this morning. Yeah, the nonprofit organization Southwest Human Development is helping them rebuild the library. So Cameron joins us from Thomas and 14th Street with more on this. Cameron, good morning. Hey, good morning. I don't know if you guys saw, but a few weeks ago we had Jason Berry's story on where he was in this neighborhood after uh, the little library was burnt down. But the people who did that are so invested in the community, they have rebuilt it again. The homeowner and the builder of this is Nick. Your wife uh, helped you put this together and you guys have been uh, pretty into the little library. We have. We put the original one up about a year ago, um, just kind of as a way to engage with the community. Um, it's a good way to promote literacy in the neighborhood. Um, you know, people take a book, they leave a book. Um, there's several of them in the neighborhood, so we just kind of wanted to add to that, uh, add to that vibe, and uh, and put another one here right on the corner. And I, I want to step out of the way. So if you can show uh, the side of this on the the original. Uh, um, house had a dog on it, but when it was burnt down, they repainted it and his wife, who was an art teacher over in Tolleson, redid it with a dog with a fire hose, a little tongue in cheek for the people who burned this down, letting them know the little library is here to stay. So Nick is going to go ahead and put the finishing touches on it right now, getting it up and mounting it, and then the library will be back uh, in service. I want to talk to Jake from Southwest. What's your guys' role in this? Yeah, so Southwest Human Development, we do early uh, childhood, babies, toddlers, and preschoolers, and one of the focuses is early literacy. And so we got involved with Little Free Libraries a couple of years ago when uh, we realized we needed to get more kids access to books. So we started working with um, companies to have them actually assemble and decorate little free libraries and then we put them up in neighborhoods where kids don't have access to books. Maybe there's not a library nearby uh, or the uh, lower income neighborhoods where kids don't have access to books is not uh, a priority. Um, and so we wanted to make sure that we got books in the hands of kids. Uh, I think everybody was watching that show uh, a couple of weeks ago because my uh, cell phone, uh, I got tons of texts from all my friends saying, hey, can you help get a library over there and so I reached out to Nick uh, and said hey we've got a library for you we'd like to donate it um, this is awesome so if you want to get involved if you want to uh, help out this little free library project maybe your company does team building projects uh, check out our website swhd.org get involved uh, click on the little free library uh, icon and we can get a library out at your office. You can decorate one like this. You're probably not going to be as good as Nick's <laughs> wife at painting it and that's okay. Um, she did. She definitely did a good job and as you guys can see now, uh, uh, if you can uh, show the sign, I want people to know exactly where this is. This is at 14th and Windsor. So if you're in this neighborhood and you want to come get a book, it's completely free. All they ask is that you replace it with another book and once you get that last screw in, the book case is open. The library is now open for business and it is being stocked right now on Good Morning Arizona. And for the people who tore this down, if you do it again, these guys are relentless and they'll just put it back. But, don't do that. <laughs> but it is now open for the community. Uh, it's really back cool. Really great Thank job. Thank you, Cameron. I love that story.